Right, so we're looking at a 3D model here of the um, timber frame eaves detail. Okay, so we can see that it's a truss roof, okay, prefab truss. So the joists, is, uh, the rafter is sitting down on top of the joist. Okay, they're consistent there and they're fixed together with a nail plate, reinforced with a nail plate. Okay, so they're sitting on our wall plate, which is 150 mil sit on top for 150 mil wall timber framed wall okay so we have insulation in between the, the studs and we have sheathing 12 mil sheathing 12 mil plywood on the inside of the wall here uh, facing the cavity on that there's breathing mill membrane and we have our cavity barrier here closing the tool okay on the inside of the wall we're going to have a vapor check and our um, slab plasterboard and plasterboard there so you can see the insulation between the joists up here, between the trusses. Uh, we also have a vent, so we're going to have a soffit, a vent in the soffit, um, to allow airflow up into the attic space. Okay, and we're working with a tile roof. So we've a breathable membrane going on our rafters, and a truss of rafters, and then battens, and then our, our, our tiles. So we can get working on that one straight away. Okay. No. Oh. So timber frame, we're back to a three hundred mil watt. 100 mil cavity, 50 mil or 100 mil outer leaf, 50 mil cavity, and 150 mil studio work here. Okay, got my black work here, so 21.5, 1 mil for your. Mortar 21.5 and 1 mil. 21.5. Okay. Blade here, okay. Five mil and five mil. Okay, so um, insulation in between the stud work. So I'm going to show that here. I've got 12 mil ply sitting on the inside. side of our stud here the vapor check okay basically plastic okay so truss roof we'll put a 30 degree pitch 
so at the corner of our, our head plate here, we can right corner come back 30 degrees. Okay, so it's 150 after. Okay, and the jace to finish off the truss, it's 150 mil jace as well. So where the two of them meet here, we're looking in the nail plate. symbols to represent the nails okay so that is our truss sitting up on our header plate here okay so for the, the eaves detail itself I'm gonna put on my batten my soffit batten here So come up perpendicular five. Okay, one third of the rafter. That'll give us our plum cut and seat cut. Now, so we can put on our soffit, twelve mil soffit. Vent in that soffit here. Right. Put on my fascia board. Fill it here. Oh. So then we can continue on sitting on top for the rafter. We're going to have our, our felt, our breathable membrane. Okay, that comes out over the fillet. Finish off the cavity barrier here. Okay, and I'm going to put on plasterboard on the ceiling. So to get airflow up into the attic, we want to three mil um, or vent. Okay. So it's three by seven hundred. So I'm going to start in line with the outside edge of our outer leaf. Okay, seven. Good. 
So we're going to insulate in between the joists. Okay, so we've packed up with insulation here, so the air vent here in the soffit is going to bring good airflow up into our timbers in the attic space here. <coughs> okay, so uh, battens next. So I'm going to come back uh, to 50. And 50 mil batten, okay. 250, 50 mil batten. So the dangles <clears throat> so buttons are on ready for our tides yes the tides are 420 Yeah, I'll pass the button four minute and forty two. That is our tie So we have our timber frame, okay. Our sheathing on the inside, our uh, breathable membrane, um, our outer leaf block work. We have our um, insulation in between the, the studs, the stud uprights, plasterboard, vapor check, plasterboard, plasterboard and underneath the ceiling, joists. Insulation between the joists, insulation coming down into the cavity here. Okay, uh, vent to carry our sufficient airflow up here into the attic space. Um, our fillet, our felt, gutter, fascia, soffit, and our battens and tiles. And that is.
timber frame detail. Yeah.